Right, we're pretty much here, guys. We're pretty much with the Pompano. All my beautiful friends and I are about to be reunited. So, we're gonna go with two Pompano rigs. Uh, one's a half ounce, one's a quarter, I think. Um, and we're just gonna go for it. So what you're gonna do when you're Pompano fishing, they are bottom feeders. So what you do is you cast out and you wait for it to hit the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, you have to make sure it hits the bottom and then you jig it. I do it one to three times. And uh, after one to three times, you let it hit the bottom again. And then once you know it's on the bottom, you repeat. So it's really just letting it hit the bottom, jumping off and jump. It's just bouncing off the bottom pretty much because they are full on bottom feeders. Hey, like a, a sand flea or something. Yeah. So I'll show you guys on Google map here. Google maps, <laughs> excuse me. Um, the way it works is th the channel is dug out and then everything else, all the other sand is pushed to the side. So everything around here is shallow and then that's deep. We got one, boys. We got one. I wasn't recording, of course. Oh, he's fighting. Look at this. Now this is a pompano. Nice little pompy right there. There we go. Sweet. Oh. What? No way. That's part of a fishing rod right there. That's super cool. What? I thought I got a bite. I was thinking in my head, whatever it is, it's small. Because it wasn't fighting, it was just coming straight up. Wow. So, helping clean the ocean one step at a time, and also revealing that people do in fact fish here. I'm so happy we found a pompano. Even if it's just one all day. One all day would suck, but. You know what, we came out here, we got what we wanted, so I guess that's all I can ask for. Actually, I'm allowed to ask for more. I'm gonna ask for more Pompano. Can I please, Pompano gods, have two more Pompano, two more. Preferably over 11 inches to the fork. Oh my God, those are fish, dude. Oh, what is that? What is that? Uh. I'm being towed right now. It's a jack. That's so cool. Oh, that's a nice jack too. Yep. Oh. Oh. That was awesome, man. On the Pompano rig.
Oh yeah, that's a nice one. And we, we foul hooked him. He definitely went for it though. You saw that, right? No, we didn't foul hook him, we got him. <laughs> oh, so freaking cool, man. Are you kidding me? We're out here for Pompano and this Goliath comes up. Ah, oh, yeah, dude. Woo! Let's go. He full on ate it. Yeah, baby. That was like an eight pounder right there, maybe 10. Wow. That was amazing, man. I gotta get my phone for this one. Just like that, man. Just like that. Oh, what was that? Oh. Pompey. Pompano. Let's go, baby. He hooked himself two times. And they do have little spikes, so that's why I'm like being cautious. There he goes. So now I have to retie, because apparently my knot wasn't good enough, but it was good enough to get the fish in. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the ladyfish I was pulling up came off my hook. And as it came off the hook, a freaking shark came up and destroyed it. That was a big shark too. That was like four or five feet. Oh my goodness gracious. What is this? I think it's a pompano. It's a pompano. <laughs> yeah, baby. What? It's a jack? No, it's a pompano. Let's go. Are you kidding me, dude? That's so cool. There he is, baby. Nice Pompey. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Catfish Kev, as you can see here. Um, and I'm back again the next week. Uh, we got a new video out. So today, or not today, but a few days ago, I went out on my kayak. The wind laid down just a little bit, not much. I had a really tough time getting out and getting back, but I went for Pompano because I found him. And wow, what a day. The Jack and the shark, if you didn't see it, go back. The ladyfish jumps off my hook, lands in the water, and then the shark comes up and destroys it. Just watch it again, it's hard to see, but you can see it there uh, in the slow motion. But yeah, I had such a great time. There were small pompano, but they're so much fun, and it's so great that I can go out there and find them on my own. But anyway, uh, besides all that, remember to go and subscribe, like, and check out some of my merch on Redbubble. It's pretty cool stuff. And if you just want another shirt that, you know, has meaning other than, you know, some big name brand, go ahead. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, keep fishing.